friends so today we are going to make a uh, green beans curry with sesame seeds and coconut dry coconut powder which is very simple and very tasty so we need the ingredients so we need green beans dry coconut powder sesame seeds turmeric and chili powder depends on the taste and cumin seeds and coriander seeds that's it I'll also be posting the recipe in the description below so that for some of you who didn't understand that would be easy for them so let's go ahead and chop the green beans right chop now. the green beans you can chop them in any size you like let's go start preparation first on the stove put it in a low flame very low and then add your coriander seeds first your cumin seeds and the sesame seeds and dry roast them for 5 minutes in roasting them for 5 minutes uh, now by this time you can actually smell the aroma from the cumin seeds coriander seeds and sesame seeds at this moment we'll add the dry coconut and roast it for another 2 minutes and switch off the flame add the coconut along with the sesame seeds and cumin as you can see it started turning brown now you can turn up the and transfer this into a bowl transfer this into a bowl so that it gets cooled down first so that we can blend it when the masala gets cooled down let's go ahead and start frying the beans on the stove add some oil add some oil Once the oil gets heated, add your beans. Now to the beans, let's add some salt. And turmeric. Turmeric is a must in almost all the Indian curries and give it a good mix. Fry this for 10 minutes. The beans are being fried for 10 minutes now and we frying the beans for 10 minutes now and beans take a longer time to cook actually so we add one cup of water to them and cover it with a lid we need to cook this until the beans are cooked you will see the entire water is evaporated and the beans are cooked in like 10 minutes for this 10 minutes we need to keep the lid closed so that it gets cooked let's go ahead and make the sesame seeds and coconut masala powder you can add some chili powder to it if you depends on how much chili you can eat and let's go ahead and blend this in a 
blender and it's getting that's it you don't need to blend more this consistency is fine your masala is ready now being cooked for 10 minutes with the lid closed for 10 minutes on a medium flame let's go ahead and check if it's cooked as you can see the water has completely evaporated now it's time for us to add the masala and turn off the flame We'll turn off the flame because the beans, the heat and there is also some water inside which will absorb the masala completely. Now we need to close the lid again for one minute, one or two minutes and you can see the entire, the masala would, the beans would absorb the masala completely. As you can see, I off the stove and I put a lid on it for two minutes. Let's go and see if it's ready. There you go. There you go. Yummy and very tasty, very easy beans curry with coconut and sesame seeds mashallah powder. Hope you guys try it and let me know how you like it. Wow, my house smells so aromatic and so tasty. Can't wait to try this.